It's been around for generations, and it's something that I hope goes on for more generations. It's all out, you know, a family restaurant. A lot of us have been here for, you know, you know, 10 plus years, you know. I would say it's an icon in Shreveport. I mean, you know, people have come to, like I said, know this is a family-oriented place, you know. They bring their kids and their kids bring their grandkids. Well, the strawberry pie. Give me a piece of strawberry pie for him. There's nothing like this, literally. I mean, when you eat the pie, you'll understand. The whipped cream's fluffy. It's something that is a required taste, and a lot of people, you just, they just love it. But um, coconut's actually my favorite. Over easy, medium bacon, and hash brown. Well, we know them by name. We know what they eat when they come in. Uh, very seldom do they ever change, you know. Um, so it's nice, it's nice to go somewhere you feel comfortable. We get some people on Sundays that come in every week. It's like, I mean, it's, it's just a, a family thing that other people do, you know, like every year you got family that gets together, you know, and this is one of the places that everybody wants to get together. I mean, it's like a family tradition. Everything was so lucky and just a fluke, because when I first got here those first few weeks, there was nobody here. Mm -hmm. And after, it, it might have been a month, but I mean, I feel like Gomer Powell, just Shazam. And all these people here, these women, and some of the older ones are, are gone. They're incredible. Even some of these waitresses now, they've been here for a long time. Uh, it ain't me, it's them. I mean, yeah, I'm here, but they're good people. They work hard, uh, they're honest, and uh, yeah. If it wasn't for them, I don't, I don't know where I'd be. We're on a, a level where we could talk to them. We know their mothers, their fathers, their kids. We've watched many kids grow up, you know, from toddlers to now they're in college. You know, like I raised my son, and, you know, his name is Dylan Gwynn, and I raised him working here. I, I was a single mom. Um, he went off to the Navy, and this is one of his favorite places as well, you know. And now I have three grandkids, you know. They come here and they absolutely love it, you know. Uh, the baby hasn't had a taste yet, but she's too small. At the risk of it sounding like a blockhead or an idiot, I just thank God for these people. And believe me, I, I'm not stupid. I got an MBA. I mean, I got, I got you know, you know. <laughs> I worked in Merrill Lynch. I mean, I've done all kind of things, but nothing's like these people. They're the kindest, sweetest. Uh, they will hit you in the head, though, if you're not careful. They, they, hit, they hit me every now and then. Our pancakes are really good. And Roy, he makes the best omelets uh, and the prettiest omelets. Um, Mr. Strawns opened it in uh, 44. Um, he sold it in 1958 to Gus Alexander, um, and then Buddy, you know, he purchased it in 1987-88, and then he added this side in 93. It's a great place, and a lot of good people come here, and Shreveport needs a place like this. And we've been here a long time, thanks to them. Appreciate you. Thank you.